friends, Shay here. So I'm here for another video for you. Today we're going to be talking about my favorite LGBT centered manga stories of 2023. So in this one, these are all series that I started in the year of 2023. So they may not technically have published in 2023, but these are ones that I started in the year of 2023. So that is my caveat to this video. So let's go ahead and dive in. I actually have seven on this list rather than a top five, just because I could not make myself narrow this list any further. <laughs> because there was a lot of really good LGBT manga this year. And there are tons more out there that I didn't even list, but these are just some of my favorites that I really wanted to talk to you about. My Kaladin has come to say hello. So hello, everybody. All right. So the first one is, speaking of my cat, it's called My Cute Little Kitten. So this is a Yuri title in which we're dealing with two friends who live together. And the fact that one of them has had very strong romantic feelings for the other for a very long time. And they're talking about getting a new place together. And she's like, I can't live with her again. I, I love her too much. I can't. But they um, end up kind of pseudo adopting this little kitten. And it ends up kind of bridging the gap between friends to lovers. Only the first volume is out right now, but I thought this first volume was very impressive. I really enjoyed myself and I am excited to get the next volume. I believe it comes out in January. So though we have long waits with this one, I do think it's worth the wait. The next one is a completed series that released all in the year of 2023, and that is I'm Kind of Chubby and I'm Your Hero. This is a two-volume boys' love series in which we have these two men. One is a chubby actor, the other is a baker. The baker feels inspired by the chubby actor and starts to leave bakery gifts for the actor, and they end up having a really sweet friendship that starts to grow into more and then the series ends and I'm so sad. I really wanted more volumes of this one, but I'm still really happy with what we got and really, really loved it. So I would definitely recommend it. Um, the next one I have here is Asumi-chan is interested in lesbian brothels. This was a pleasant smutty surprise for me. I ended up really enjoying it. In this one, we're having a girl who it has found out that someone who had confessed their feelings for her um, years ago works at a lesbian brothel. And so she's kind of trying out these different lesbian brothels, hoping to find her. And it is, it's kind of like Dick Fight Island, where it's really pure and innocent in a lot of ways, but also very smutty because Asumi Chan is also exploring her sexuality through these interactions with people. And so I ended up really loving what this one is doing for sex positivity, sex work positivity, and all those kinds of things. So I highly recommend this one, but you have to know it is very graphically sexual. And if that makes you uncomfy, you're not going to like the series. But it's sealed for our pleasure. I really, really love it. I have a great time with it. And I would definitely recommend it because I think it approaches, again, sex work in a very positive light and in a way that just is kind of sweet and innocent at the same time. So that's it for that one. The next one I have is Tori Ton Birds of a Feather. This is a two volume boys love series that's a little bit older. It's been finished for a while. But I ended up reading this in the year of 2023, and I ended up really loving it. Um, essentially, we're following this guy who, you know, is kind of a deadbeat, just kind of helps people out. And he keeps having this crow that, you know, comes around him, and he feels like he's talking to the crow, and the crow understands him, and he starts to have feelings for the crow. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. I'm going to let this rest of the story play out for itself. I think it's worth the read. I really thought it was sweet and enjoyable and I had a great time. So if this, I had missed out on this one for a long time. So if you had also missed out on it, it's only a two volume series. I would definitely recommend picking it up. The next one is She Loves to Cook and She Loves to Eat. This is a foodie manga for the sapphic women. I really love both of them. They are almost neighbors. There's one apartment in between theirs. And one loves to cook, but she always ends up cooking too much food. And one woman really loves t 
to eat, eats a lot. Isn't necessarily fat, she's just big and broad, so she just needs more to keep her metabolism going. And so one day, the one who loves to cook ends up with this extra food. So she walks it down to her, the, the one who loves to eat. And they kind of form a friendship and it starts to bloom into more. And I love it so much. Like, it's so dang good, y'all. Another two volume Boys Love series that I love from this year is My Dear Agent. My Dear Agent. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. So we have an older guy and a younger guy. I believe there's a four year age difference between the two of them. One is half Brazilian, so he's lived a bunch of his life in Brazil. So that was really fun having Brazilian. I have Brazilian family, so seeing that representation in manga was pretty cool because my sister-in-law is actually half Brazilian, half Japanese. So seeing that crossover in a manga was really cool for me. But in this one, basically, he gets hired. The Brazilian guy gets hired by his father um, to bodyguard his other son and the older guy is the guy who has been in charge of the younger son for a long time. And it's about their relationship. Like, the guy who's been in charge of the, the younger son for a long time. And then the Brazilian, the half Brazilian, half Japanese guy. It's their relationship. And it's so precious and so good. I love it so much. Oh, my heck. You need to read My Dear Agent. I wanted it to be longer, but the shoe volume still felt good. And then the last one I have for this list is The Dangerous Convenience Store. With this one, it only has one volume physically out. Um, I believe this one is published digitally, though. In this, we're following a young man who is working at a convenience store, and he, you know, it's on the rough side of town. <laughs> and, you know, he's just getting by. And one particular guy who definitely seems to be associated with the Yokoza ends up coming into the convenience store, always buying a pack of smokes and something else. I don't remember um, right now, but they kind of end up forming a small friendship. They find out their neighbors and it starts to blossom into a friends with benefits kind of situation. I have only read this first volume, but man, when I tell you I'm excited for the second volume of this one, like, excuse me. <laughs> um, this one is also sealed for our pleasure. This is one that um, you should definitely proceed with caution if you don't like graphic things. And again, if you're not good with violence, this might not be the best one for you. But dang, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> so with that said, that is all that I have for this particular video. Those are seven series that I thought were the best of my LGBT reads that were new for the year for me. If you are here just because you love me, please leave a rainbow emoji down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.